Schools across Erie and Niagara counties are closing for the total solar eclipse. But I'm Derek Hyde in Cattaraugus County. We're here at Portville Central School. They're moving class to make sure their students are in school for it. Like I know they don't come around that often, so it's kind of one chance to see it. For 7th grader at Portville Central School, Cora Warders, the total solar eclipse is something she doesn't plan to forget. I just want to hang out with my friends and make it a little memory to have with each other. But in Portville, which is just north of the Pennsylvania line, the peak of the eclipse is set to happen at 3.20 p.m. And normally our students would be getting off of the bus at that time. Superintendent Tom Simon tells me he couldn't let his students miss this once in a lifetime event. But rather than closing for the day, he's changing the school's entire schedule so everyone can have a fun day to celebrate the eclipse and watch it happen together. We just thought it was a great opportunity to do something fun with the students and have them learn about something that's actually happening. It doesn't get more authentic than that. On April 8th, school will start three hours later. And rather than dismiss kids at their normal time at 2.30, school will run until 4.05. You know, we wouldn't be able to do it without the fact that our faculty and staff is just so, so accommodating and willing and dedicated to making something fun happen for the students. So they're willing to flex their schedules as well. And Portville bought over 1,400 pairs of Eclipse glasses, one for everybody in the school. Then all the students can gather and watch the eclipse together outside the building. It's kind of a cool opportunity because like some schools like don't do that. And, it's and I like how that we get to stay at school and we get to look with people that we know. And because I don't think I'd actually know like what was going on if I wasn't here to see it. Because I get to hang out with my friends to see it. A memory these kids won't soon forget. Derek Hyde, 7 News, Portville.